Hello and welcome to the series of video lectures on the subject digital techniques for secondary IT students. I am Dr. Srishal Gajbhar and in this video lecture we are going to implement half ADA circuit by using Verilog HDL language. At the end of this session you will be able to implement half ADA circuit module by using Verilog HDL. You will also be able to write test bench in Verilog to verify the correctness of the written module. The software that we are going to use for the simulation purpose is model sim student edition. You can download this software by using this link which is provided here. It's a free of cost software. So you can download this, install on your computer and you can simulate the Verilog programs very easily. So this will be the workflow for our session. We will first discuss the Verilog module for a circuit which is half adder in this case. Then we will discuss the test bench which is required to simulate the Verilog module which we have written. And finally, we will verify the simulation results in model sim software. So half adder is a combinational circuit that performs addition of two bits, addition of two binary bits. This circuit needs two binary inputs which are represented by using the names A and B in this case and two binary outputs sum and carry which are represented in this case by using capital S and capital C respectively. The schematic diagram here shows the half adder circuit and in this case you can see there are two inputs A and B and there are two outputs capital S and capital C which stand for sum and carry. This is the truth table for half adder circuit and in this case you can see there are two inputs AB and two outputs S and C and in this truth table you can see the values for sum and carry for all possible input combinations and one can find from this truth table the logical expressions for the sum as well as for carry and if one find out the logical expression you will get sum is equal to A XOR operation with B whereas this carry is equals to A and operation with B. The same thing is represented here in this diagram. So S is equal to A XOR operation with B whereas the C is equals to A and operation with input B. So let us discuss the Verilog module for half adder circuit. In this case, this is the module definition for half adder circuit. So in this module definition, wherever you will see the red word that is nothing but a keyword. Okay. So all the red words are here represented by using the red color. So the model definition in Verilog always start with the module keyword. So the module followed by the name of the module which is half underscore adder in this case and inside the bracket you provide the list of inputs and outputs. So it is written as a comma b comma s comma c. Here a and b are the inputs and s and c are the outputs. In the next line we are going to explicitly define what are the inputs and what are the outputs. Okay, So basically here a, B, S and C are the identifiers. Okay, So we here explicitly represent which identifier belong to input and which identifier are the output. So here we have written input space A comma B and semicolon. Also you don't forget to give the semicolon at the end of the first line. Okay. So in the next line we have written assign keyword and we have written capital S is equals to A caret symbol followed by B and semicolon. What this statement is doing in this case, it is performing the XOR operation between the inputs A and B and the result is assigned to the S which is sum in this case. So the caret symbol in Verilog is known as a XOR operation. So in the next line similarly we have written assign capital C is equals to A and percent symbol B and then semicolon. So what is happening in this case? Here the 
and operation between inputs A and B is performed and the result is assigned to capital C. Okay, so thus we have implemented the Verilog module and the Verilog uh, module will always end with the end module keyword. So do not forget to give that also. So this is how the you can write the Verilog module for half header circuit. So let us now discuss the test bench for half header circuit. So before explaining the test bench, let me give the perspective of why we should write the test benches. It is always better to write the test benches for every module that you write in Verilog. Why? There are two reasons. The first is by using test benches, you can verify the correctness of your module very easily. Secondly, it also avoids the manual input for your module okay so otherwise what you, what it will require if you don't write the test benches then for every input you have to explicitly give the inputs so that manual uh, provision of input will be avoided if you write down the test bench so everything in verilog is written in terms of module so your test bench will also be a module so it will start with the module keyword followed by the name of the module which is test underscore half ladder in this case semicolon then here uh, the inputs will be defined as a rake data type right and why these are defined as a rake data type because uh, you want to provide the all possible input combinations right and whenever you are providing some input combination those input combinations should persist unless and until uh, the user provides some new inputs okay so that is why it is defined as a rake data type the outputs here are defined using the wire data type and these are written as wire as a keyword followed by the list of the output names which for your module so which are s and c in this case next the most important part is to instantiate the module which you have written so the module name in our case was half underscore adder so it's like creating an object of some class so here the module is instantiated as follows we write down the name of the module so half underscore adder followed by the object name which is h1 in this case and in bracket you provide the list of input and outputs followed by semicolon so it is written as a comma b comma s comma c semicolon next we write down the initial block okay so initial block is written by using the initial keyword here and initial block has the property that whatever statement uh, that are inside those will be executed only once okay now here what is happening uh, there are multiple inputs okay so inside the initial block because there are four input combination that we need to provide here so since there are multiple uh, inputs that we need to provide so it is a convention that you should provide it within the begin and end block okay so that is why it is written something like this so initial followed by begin and end and inside that you provide all possible input combinations and here the input combinations are provided so first input combination is provided as a is equal to one represent the number of bits dash b means it's a binary and zero it's its value okay so it's a one bit binary number zero so the first input combination is zero zero then we provide the uh, delay okay it's always better to give the delay between two input combinations so the delay here it is provided by using hash 20 okay so there will be a delay of 20 units and the next input combination is 0 1 the next is 1 0 and 1 1 and we end this module definition with the end module keyword So pause the video for one minute and write down the answer of the given question. I hope you have written the answer. The answer here is twofold. First, to test the correctness of Verilog module, we write the test benches. And secondly, we want to avoid the manual entry of input values. Now let us see the simulation results in ModulSim software. So I have already written the program. So this is the model definition for half header circuit. 
and this is the test bench written for the half adder circuit. And I have named this uh, program as a test underscore half adder dot v. Okay, dot v is the extension that we use for saving our files. The next thing we have to do is to compile this program. So for compilation, go to this uh, symbol, compile, select appropriate file. So test underscore half adder dot v compile and just check whether your compile is successful or not and as you can see here there are no errors and warnings so our compilation is successful. The next thing is to go to the library and there inside this work uh, you will find your module so just go to the appropriate module which is test underscore half adder in this case so I will select that test underscore half adder just right click on that and select the simulate option. So a test window, a simulation window will appear on your screen. Then the next step is to add the waveforms. So for that purpose go to the add two wave option, select the two wave option and select the all items in region. So you will see a simulation window here and here these are the inputs and outputs. Uh, which will be represented as a waveform. So the you can see the first name as test underscore half header which is your uh, uh, module name for your test bench followed by slash a, a is your input and so on. So you can see a, b, s and c. The next step is to run. Okay, For running the uh, this program just select this symbol and click here. Right. So you can zoom this also just select this one. Now here one can see that for the inputs A and B are 0, 0. The sum is 0 as well as carry is 0. For the next input combination for that is 0, 1, you can see the sum is 1 whereas the carry is 0. In the next input combination the input A is 1 whereas the input B is 0. And in this case you get sum is equal to 1 and carry is equal to 0. Whereas for the last combination you can see A is 1, right? A is 1, B is also 1 in this case you can see and in this case you can see the sum is 0 and the carry is equal to 1. Okay? These are the references. Thank you very much.